Israel announced plans for 1,000 new settler homes in East Jerusalem, a region they claim but not recognized by the rest of the world. As affirmed by the Council and determined by the International Court of Justice, Israel's policy and practices of settling parts of its population and new immigrants in the occupied Palestinian territory, including occupied East Jerusalem, are in violation of international law. Israel's ambassador stood firm, rejecting the notion that settlement activity was an obstacle to peace and called for Palestine to recognize Israel as the state of the Jewish people. Building uh, housing units in Jerusalem for children in Givat Matos, in places where our Jewish uh, neighborhoods is uh, something that we will continue to do because Jerusalem is the eternal capital of the illegal. Jewish people. Ambassador, it's illegal. It is not illegal. Palestine called for the Security Council to pass a resolution that would prescribe a timeline for the end of occupation by November 2016. If we cannot collectively convince the occupying power to negotiate with us the end of occupation to allow for the independence of the state of Palestine, and therefore to actualize the global consensus on a two-state solution, then the option of two-state solution might not be available to us. And there is no one to be blamed except the occupying power. The United States also criticized Israel's settlement plans while council members urged restraint at escalating tensions in the eastern, largely Arab side of East Jerusalem. Shervin Bryceby's SABC News, New York.